Hey, what's up guys? So today's topic I want to talk about is nursing and your patients and why you should care. Now this topic isn't here to tell you to have this false positivity, love everyone, peace and happiness, because we all know in a clinical setting that is impossible. This post is, is, is more, more about some strategies that I'm gonna give you that will help you genuinely care for your patients, increase the overall patient satisfaction, and, and decrease the stress in your life, decrease the stress in your work. Also, when you care about your patients, your morale goes up, their morale goes up, your work gets better, you start to take pride in your work, and overall patient satisfaction just gets extremely better. So guys, here are some strategies that I think that will probably help you relate better to your patients and make it seem like you are genuinely there for them and you really are there for them. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what nursing is all about. So here we go. Number one, always smile in the inner room and not that, not that used car salesman fake smile, but a genuine relaxed type of smile. You know, that type of smile where you're not, you're not faking it, it's just relaxed. All the muscles in your face are relaxed. You just genuinely are at ease and that puts the patient or the other person at ease. So if you do that right when you walk into the patient's room, I've always felt that that's always been a big help in the communication process with patients. Okay, my other, my number two tip is when a patient is being rude to you, don't ever get down to their level. Always remain professional and have that silent confidence that is always needed. You know, that's something about that silent confidence that, that professionals have. In a way, that also puts people at ease because it lets the, the patient or the other person express themselves freely, get it out of their system. And if you remain calm and steady in that situation, that lets that patient know that, okay, you're not attacking them, you're not coming after them, and it also lets them get that release of energy. All right, guys, number three, and this one I really like, is therapeutic communication. Therapeutic communication, probably heard it in mental health and nursing school, I've always, it's working with mental, mental health patients, it works really, really well, but it works well just in general because therapeutic communication, such as opening, uh, asking open-ended questions, that lets the other person feel like they're being heard, like they're being listened to and understood, and it allows them to kind of get that out of their system. So guys, I've always liked therapeutic communication uh, techniques. It works really, really well. Even in the ER when I've had psych patients, that just seems to work really, really well. And, and you, you get that eye contact, that relaxed body language. You ask open-ended questions. And before you know it, you'll have that patient eaten out of your hand. All right, guys. And finally, probably my favorite one, being real and being authentic. Something about being real and being authentic, you can't fake it. It's always subcommunicated. We always know that. We know the type of people that are fake. We can see it through and we may even be friends with them but it's that sub-communication that you can't fake. And when you're real as a nurse and you're authentic as a nurse, that is sub-communicated to that patient on different levels. I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a psychologist, but I know that it always works. When you're just totally real, your ego is gone, you're just trying to add value to that patient's life, add value to your coworker's life, when you do that, everything will just go much, much smoother. But guys, that's all I have for today. It's a pretty quick video. I just want to run through a few things. You know, I was just thinking about patient care and I like to always talk about it because, you know, dealing with patients can be hard, guys. Dealing with patients can be extremely challenging at times, especially in the ER. If you get psych patients, you get drunks, drug addicts, people lying to you. Now, in one way, it can be really good if you were gonna be a, a police officer or something like that, because you can you can spot a liar in a heartbeat. But, um, but other than that, guys, uh, that's all I have for today. This is gonna be a uh, really, really quick video. Just thought I'd put it out there for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. As always, like and subscribe down at the bottom. If you have any questions, hit me up down there. I always answer them. I always respond to all the people that comment or have any questions. So anything you want to ask me, any video requests, anything, leave them in the comments below. All right, guys, I got to go to work. I'm not feeling it today, but I'll see you guys tomorrow.